you should by this point be really pretty familiar with the first declension feminine forms, nouns. Uh, now I'm going to introduce two more forms, uh, two types of two more types of first declension nouns, that is the ones that belong to the masculine gender. And the difference between these two is going to be that one has the eta and one has the alpha, just like type A and type B did of the feminine uh, nouns. Uh, the other thing you're going to notice is that these use masculine articles. They have to because they're masculine nouns. Remember, articles match the noun they're modifying in gender, number, and case. The other, you're going to notice two other major differences, and both of those are going to be in the nominative and genitive singular. After the nominative and genitive singular, first declension masculine nouns will look just like feminine first declension nouns. So, as review, we had type A of the feminine nouns, like he make, nouns that ended in the eta. He make, tes makes, te make, ten maken. Hai makai, ton makon, tais makais, tas makas. Remember, the plurals of first declension nouns were always the same, regardless of what type they were. So the only differences were in the singular. And then we had type B, when the stem ended in epsilon, iota, or rho, where that vowel shift to the eta couldn't take place, and the alpha remained in alpha. So like hey oikia, tes oikias, te oikia, ten oikian, right? alpha instead of eta. And in the plural, hai oikiai, ton oikion, tais oikiais, tas oikias. Again, plural first declension nouns are always the same. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at the masculines. Now, remember, I said there were two types. The first type is in which the nominative singular ends in tes or ace. That is, this will be correspond roughly to our type A feminines. That is, there's the eta, uh, eta instead of alpha. So let's take a look at these. Um, you should notice right away that we've got masculine articles. I've already emphasized this. Uh, we have ho poietes as our paradigm, the poet. So ho poietes, there's a different, two Poie two, we've got a very strange genitive uh, singular. But once we get past the genitive singular, date of to poie te, ton poie tain, the endings are identical to our type A feminines. Uh, notice the vocative has a alpha there, poie ta. Uh, that's slightly different. And then in the plural, hoi poie tai, ton poie ton, tois poie tais, tus poietas. Notice again, just like with all other first declension nouns, the plural endings are the same. So really the only differences you're going to notice are in the articles, the nominative singular, and the genitive singular. Those are the only differences for the masculine uh, first declension nouns. And then let's take a look at type B. These are not where the nominative singular ends in as. And the reason they end in as is because the stem is going to end in epsilon, iota, or rho. And remember that vowel shift couldn't happen after stems that ended in these consonants or, or vowels. So we get nouns like ho neanias, young man. There's our iota and our as. Ho neanias, tu neaniu, again our strange genitive ending. To neania, to neanian. Right? So it looks from that at, at that point like a type B feminine. Hoi neaniai, to neanion, tois neaniais, tus neanias. Again, our plurals are the same as all other first declension plurals. Notice again the evocative honania, evocative singular. And that's all there is to the first declension masculine nouns. They look very much like the feminines, except in the nominative and the genitive, and with respect to their articles.